Hi everybody, it's Shannon. And um, I wanted to talk to you about scans, specifically for me, CT scans. Um, I've had three of them so far. The first one I had was ordered by my surgeon, my colon surgeon, and um, so he could see what he was dealing with before he opened me up. The second CT scan I had was ordered by my oncologist before I started chemo, um, and that was to see if something had grown, what had stabilized, all that kind of stuff, where exactly what was my baseline before chemo. And then my third one I had just a few days ago on January the 10th. Um, it's January the 12th today. So on January the 10th, I went back to have another CT scan, and it was ordered by my oncologist again, and it's after four rounds of chemo, so after eight weeks, basically, because colon cancer chemo, you go every other week. So after four rounds or eight weeks to see where we are. And the oncologist explained to me that, you know, the, the pinnacle of your tumors should be on the second scan because the first scan shows where they are before they go in to take out, you know, part of your colon. But then you're not really killing any of the other tumors in there. So they're still growing because there's nothing stopping them. So the second scan um, usually, almost always, he says, looks worse than the first scan because tumors have time to grow while you're recuperating from your surgery. And then, so the third scan should show the tumors back close to where they were with this first scan. Um, and hopefully, you know, have shrunk even more than that. But that's what they hope is to see them back around what they were the first time that they took a CT scan. So that's where I am now. I just had scan number three and the doctor's going to go over it with me on Monday. So. I'll let y'all know my results on Monday. I am praying and hoping for the best, um, but we'll see. So a CT scan. There's CT scans and some people have PET scans. I've never had a PET scan before. I've only ever had CT scans. Um, what I know the difference between the two, a PET scan I know is in color, which would be nice if you were looking at it, but it doesn't show really small details. Um, whereas a CT scan is in black and white, so it's a little harder to read like as a lay person, but it will show much smaller like lesions or nodules that you have. So that's, I think, the main difference between the two. Um, I do know that they like to just stay with whatever you've been having so they can compare like apples to apples, which makes sense to me. So I've had CT scans, so I couldn't tell you what a PET scan's like. I guess it's probably pretty close to this, but I really have no idea. So when your doctor orders you um, a CT scan, the orders for a CT scan, you have to take your orders, it's on a piece of paper, with you to the radiology department and, <laughs> and pick up um, this barium contrast fluid that you have to drink and you drink it four hours beforehand. And at my hospital, there's four flavors. There's berry and vanilla and mocha and banana. And I had read things that warned, do not get banana. No matter how much you like banana, do not get banana. It's horrible. So I've never had that one. I've also never had mocha because I don't really like iced coffee. And believe me, you want to drink this stuff cold. You put it in the refrigerator for a good 24 hours. I have had berry, which is what I generally get. Um, and it's doable. I mean, none of it's good, y'all. It's just horrible. Like, I think it's funny that they make you take those orders there and show it to them before you can get this stuff. Because who would want this? It tastes disgusting. I mean, Lord, it's not like somebody's going to show up there and be like, ooh, I want this barium stuff to drink. No, nobody wants to drink this stuff. It's horrible. But anyway, um, so I usually get the berry to take home with me to have. And then... So you take that four hours before your scan, and then you go, and when you get there, they make you drink more of it. So I've had it at one place, they made me drink it room temperature, and I had vanilla. And oh, like, oh, if they make you have it room temperature, 
Y'all, I'm so sorry because it's just, it's horrible. It really is. It's, it's just not good. There's no, there's no painting that with a pretty picture. It's just not good. At least if it's cold, you can kind of slurp it down quicker and it's better. So the second and the third scan I had, they gave it to me at the hospital um, cold. So I was grateful, thankful for that. But so the vanilla and the berry are the two that I've had. I prefer the berry over the vanilla, but it may because I, maybe because I still have that horrible taste in my mouth from the first time where I had to drink it at room temperature. So they make you drink it at room temperature um, or cold, but you have to have more of it. Usually they don't make you have the whole thing again. And the whole thing is probably about 20 or 24 ounces. So it's not just like a little bit, like you're drinking a lot. Um, some people I've heard get sick from it, which I get that. I had horrible stomach cramps the last time I had it. I mean, I was in like a little ball, it was bad. But anyway, you're at the hospital, you have to have an IV um, put in. So if you have a port, you can ask them to access your port. Um, it generally takes a little longer because somebody has to come in from like the nursing place to do it um, because they flush it with heparin too and that's considered a drug so the radiology tech can't do that. But I've only, I, I've never had them access my port to put in the IV part of it. Um, I've just had it in my arm just because it's been quicker, but I think I probably will the next time just have them access my port and it's one less needle you have to have. But in the arm, it's not bad. So you go in, they put you in a hollow tube. So even if you have claustrophobia, there's no claustrophobia with this. And for me, they always check my chest, my abdomen, and my pelvis. So that's where they're looking because I have mets to my liver and my lungs. So those are the areas that they look at each time. You lay down on this little bed. Um, they get the little donut machine around you to be, you know, you where you need to be in that. And then they put the contrast in your arm through the IV. And thank heavens, the first time I ever had this, the nurse was so nice or the tech was really nice. She said, okay, now there's a really weird side effect for this. It's going to, fee it's going to feel like you're peeing in your pants, but you're not, I promise. But it's, that's exactly what it's going to feel like when I put this contrast through your arm. And it does. It is the freakiest thing. And all I could think was I feel sorry for the very first person who had to go through that who didn't know that that's what it was going to feel like. Because um, I wonder what they thought. <laughs> but so it does. It's, it's weird. It's bizarre. But I will say each time I've had a CT scan, that feeling kind of lessens. I don't know if it's because I'm used to it or because I know it's coming now. So I know what it kind of feels like. But the very first time it was freaky. Um, so they put the contrast through your arm, you feel like you're peeing in your pants, and it takes maybe two minutes. You hold your breath, the little donut goes around you and scans, takes little like 3D pictures, slices of you. Um, and they do that, I think twice. And then that's it. Then they'll come out, they'll take your IV out, they'll put a bandage on and you're done. So really the longest part is when you're back with the tech and they're putting in the IV and that kind of stuff. That's really, and, and you're drinking your potion again back there. That's the longest that it takes. So CT scans really aren't bad. Um, and I find out my results on Monday. So I am going to be cautiously optimistic until I hear otherwise. And I will let y'all know the results on Monday when I get them. So have a nice weekend and I will talk to you on Monday. Bye.